Hi folks, welcome to my Bit Retro Journal. This is a quick clip, five minutes or less. Uh, in this package, I have this gadget that I ordered. I'm really excited about it. Um, uh, let me share that with you. I mean, obviously you know what it is from uh, the um, uh, thumbnail. It's a grease weasel. Um, and what this thing does is um, it allows you to use a um, uh, old school floppy drive and read all sorts of uh, fl uh, uh, floppy disks, including ones that if they were if this were hooked to an IBM PC it couldn't read like an, uh, an Amiga. In any case, I got this off of eBay for pretty cheap. Here it is. It's a, um, a cool little device. It's got a USB connection, which I think is uh, uh, all this stuff in here. You got a cable. Um, there's even a, a little. Uh, oh look, there's even a. Uh, uh, a jumper you've got uh, a cable which I don't need um, power um, and uh, USB cable to hook it up and then another cable but yeah uh, this is kind of cool um, again I've got lots and lots of uh, floppies uh, for instance I've got this old case of uh, like a ton of uh, double uh, double density and high density floppies. Um, I kind of went through them once before um, uh, using this drive and my um, ThinkPad desktop, but it's kind of getting long in the tooth and I really wanted to come up with a solution to where I can hook something up to a floppy and that's why I got this. I also of course have on my QL, uh, this is, uh, this is a, uh, a uh, floppy controller and this will also run that right so these guys have both the same connection of course the one difference is this controller can only just like uh, this is a sugar art one just like the ibm one in the in the um desktop machine it can only uh, control the drive so much whereas this grease weasel can do whatever with the drive that's why you can read amiga discs if you put them in here um so i'm yeah i'm really excited about this i, I really want to use it uh, uh for getting um uh, software on my Model 3, Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 3, um, and I've tried doing it on, well, I was going to do this on my ThinkPad desktop, putting this drive in, but, uh, you know, I, I saw a video from Adrian's Digital Basement who suggested that wouldn't work because this is a high-density drive, and they they don't tend to um, able to, uh, they can read uh, the single-density disks, but they can't write them. Um, it turns out I have a colleague who used to work at Byte Magazine back when it it was you know still going, and and he said he had a ton of these drives, and so he's going to bring me a one. Uh, and he said that some of them came high density, high density, and some of them came you know low density, low density. So um, my hope is that I can have another one of these where it's low density, and I might then build an entire case so I have a complete set of high densities, low densities. With the grease weasel, I, I'll be able to do anything. But yeah, that's that's kind of um, what I want to do. Is I just kind of want to start um, making discs as well as um, you know reading them. Again, I, I sort of like magnetic medium uh, as opposed to just getting a, a um, GoTech or SD card readers. I mean, I have obviously one for my QL, but um, I, I like something like what magnetic magnetic medium. You know, I wish that um, they, they would create an interface. If you saw Again, on my channel, I actually have an external micro drive unit for my uh, Spectrum, but it can also be hooked to the QL. And it would be kind of cool if they created a floppy interface for that, because then you could hook it to the Grease Weasel. Um, but yeah, no, it has its own complete proprietary interface. But yeah, then you could uh, capture... Um, I think someone is actually looking into seeing if they could create a device that you hook an external micro drive too, so you could sort of uh, capture all the software that's a micro drive. You don't have to go through a QL or a, a, a Spectrum. In any case, that's really all I wanted to talk about today, this uh, Grease Weasel. Uh, I think my literally my next video is going to be using it, so just stay tuned for that. This is just literally unpacking it and, um, uh, you know, just kind of introducing it, all right? So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.